everybody and welcome to my channel. If you're new, please stop what you're doing and hit the subscribe button. So today's video is about short people problems. Now 5'2", some people think isn't short, but believe me, I have a lot of short people struggles. So let's get on with this video. I'm always struggling to reach things over my head. In the kitchen, in the shower, at the supermarket, anywhere. Like I have to step onto the ledge of the bottom cabinet and like tiptoe by grabbing like the upper shelf to keep myself sturdy from falling backwards just to reach over because sometimes my pride is way too strong before I actually give in to stepping onto a stool or a chair just to grab onto things and the struggle is real I mean I have fallen, I have slipped, I have bumped into things just to try to climb over and onto things because well let's face it you don't want to feel like a little incompetent <laughs> child when you're actually an adult another thing being short it's whenever you're like carpooling and you're since you're the little one you have to sit in the middle and it's uncomfortable whether you're tall or short but because you're short and for safety purposes Obviously, the shortest person should be sitting in the middle so that the driver does not have any obstruction when it comes to looking at the rear mirror. But believe me, it would be nice sometimes to have shotgun and sit in the very front than having to sit in the dead middle of an uncomfortable backseat car. Oh. So when I first started driving, I started driving uh, my brother's car and I would practice it for my driver's license test and there was so much struggle in driving his car. Like I was so short that I couldn't see over the steering wheel and I would have to, no lie, I used to put, uh, back in the day, there were phone guides that were like this thick. We would stack like two just so that I could sit and be able to like be propped up to see the street correctly and be able to drive. And it was embarrassing because, um, that's how I actually took my driver's test. I passed on the first try, which was amazing because I was nervous as hell. But the cool thing about now is I drive an SUV. So I could see everything in that bad boy. Another struggle when it comes to being short is when something awesome is actually happening and you're running to go see what's up, but you're so short, you're trying to tiptoe over people's shoulders and see, and you can't see, and it's literally the worst seat in the house whether it be in public whether it be at an event if you don't have the best seats in the house you're probably going to have the worst view ever and you're not going to know what the hell is going on and you're going to probably have to take your phone out and you're going to probably just have to like angle it and try to figure out what people are seeing or even snap a photo or video and then check it out later a struggle for me when it comes to being cute in outfits is finding the right fit. But when I do find pants that do fit me on my waist and hip ratio, a lot of the times I will find that the pants are like three inches extra in length. So I also struggle with blouses because they literally like, like hang off of my arms by like this much. And it's really difficult trying to be cute and fashionable when a lot of the stuff don't fit you right and lucky for me I save a pretty penny by my mom altering all of my clothes but if I didn't have that it would be such a huge expense and it would suck because it's like I'm paying extra for clothes and it's not fair being short it's kind of a double-edged sword it's got its pros and it's got its cons a lot of the times I get confused for being like in high school and I am not anywhere close to that age. I'm actually 30 years old for those who don't know. Um, but it's funny because I get carded at rated R movies. The worst thing is when you're trying to get into a club and the bouncer literally is like trying to scan, comparing photos. A little bit of a while for me to like get the green light and go in and access a bar or a nightclub. And that's embarrassing because then I'm like, oh my God, people probably think it's a fake ID and everyone probably thinks I'm a minor. And that 
is a struggle. <laughs> being teased about being short. I mean, all of my friends and family members are taller than me. Okay, so they all like to remind me that I'm short. I don't know if it makes them feel any better for being like an inch taller, and in some cases, 10 inches taller, which okay, I applaud you, thumbs up, you're cool. But if you're just like half an inch, an inch taller than me and teasing me, I think it's ridiculous. But I get teased all of the time. And a lot of the times when my friends are tired, especially like at a club or having been walking in heels for a while, they have the audacity to like lean up against me as if like my feet aren't hurting. Hello, don't add like 40 pounds onto my little body and on these like little stilts that I'm walking on because I'm gonna either crack my ankle, crack my leg, crack my back, crack myself. Being short and being taken seriously, it's almost like a oxymoron. A lot of the times when I get upset for valid reasons, people don't take me seriously because they think it's cute that I'm upset. And like the worst thing that follows is like when they pet you over the head, like you're a little animal, like you're a little, like you're a little chihuahua that's like barking up a storm. I hear it's and they're like, oh, you're so cute. You're so That's not going to calm me down. It's only going to piss me off some more. So, yeah, short people problems are real. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. I mean, if I miss anything, write it below. If you have a short friend, please keep in mind to not rub it in their face because we get it. We're short. We don't need a memo. Believe me, we wake up and the struggle continues. <laughs> I'm just any advice. Thumbs this video up and if you care to share, share. But make sure to subscribe if you're new and to check out every week for a new video. Bye.